Welcome back. No start screen. Jump right into it. I'm over here because about peeling off a little bit of our tool. We do have a little bit here we could use. Actually, I'm also curious. Turbo feels hard to make. I'd have to bring in compacted coal, which, I don't know, might not be too bad. Based on last episode, we did set ourselves up to, to go ahead and do that. And we do have access. Maybe. To that other fuel over here. We'll have to see. But for right now, we're just going to make some smokeless. Some smokeless powder. All right. And what I'm sort of looking around for is the location. I'm thinking right here. We'll get past this node and consider building it this area. As usual, you gotta start with a good foundation. Not a floating foundation. That's bad. together a nice base for our drone port here. And we're leaving ourselves a little extra space, right? Right now we've got what two four wide it should be start power on. Oh, I forgot to pull some aluminum. I I um was in the midst of uh, another project, upgrading the plastic side actually of our rubber plastic recycling plant. I used up all my aluminum. I'm going to have to grab some of that before we get far into it. Or to hover mode. Oh, we're going to need that aluminum right away. Where is the aluminum? Oh, it's actually... Uh-oh. 
I was in hover mode. Let me grab that aluminum. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Except now I have aluminum. So we're going to build a couple of drone ports here. And basic idea for this, we're going to have... Drone ports for our weapons. But obviously, this particular side of the world doesn't have batteries. So we're going to have to bring in some batteries. So this is our weapons. Weapon battery demand. Okay. And do I have a miner on me? Nope. Let's crank out a quick miner here. I should have the materials for a miner. So the theory is pretty pretty simple here. On our battery factory, which if you look right over there, you can see a little bit of it. We have a passive drone port, and that means that that port itself doesn't have a drone on it. So it can never be blocked due to delivery issues. Okay, so that that means that we can point as many drone ports there as we like to pick up batteries. Now, we're not going to use 30 million batteries a minute, but we don't have to pick up a massive flow of batteries. Think about pulling power. Probably just gonna clip this. All right. And then we should have a few batteries on us. We'll put a few batteries in here. And then we'll just tell this guy battery demand. And we'll tell this port to go to battery factory passive ship. And it'll just go over there and bring batteries over here. And the output of this let's be on the safe side and split it. We'll take those batteries out of here and we'll put some of the batteries right back into itself. So that way that Drone always has batteries. Really? That drone always has batteries. And then we'll move it down here. So this drone always has batteries. Okay. And then this one, we want to weapon what did we make last time? Black powder. Demand. All right, and then we'll make this port full. Somewhere in here we had a black powder shipper let 
Maybe we didn't name it. Where would it be? That's shipping coal. And... Yeah, this is where our power is. Drone port 11. I forgot to name that one. So it's going to pull from drone port 11. So that should cause the black powder to arrive. Hmm, that's not very straight. Let's just redo this whole thing. When the black powder arrives, we want space here. When the batteries arrive, we don't want to do anything with those. But we do want to leave space for these guys. Right? So we'll split this a little further out. Let's just do it on the line. Battery's already arriving. So now, and we should have a drone flying in now with black powder on board. Unless this guy doesn't have batteries. That would be disappointing. Or actually, we told this port to deliver, but we have to reverse that. We have to tell this port to deliver to us. So I should probably actually go over there and pick up that port and let this be a passive shipper. Let me, I'm gonna do that. I know that's a couple of cuts here early, but I think when we start talking about drone logistics, it's important to get it right. Because if we want to ship black powder out, we want to make sure that the likelihood for a drone stuck there is reduced to zero, ideally. And the only way to really do that is to have those ports that are dealing with um, shipments to not have drones on them. To have Whoever wants whatever that port has, demand it and to go send out their own drone to pick it up. How far away are we here? We're actually pretty close. Once we get on this belt, our steel pipe and our steel beam production area. This is our compacted coal coming into our steel beam and steel pipe production area. Right there's our drone port. So if we hop on this belt, get a little momentum and then jump. So 
So we'll take that drone away. Well, that's actually all we have to do here is take that drone away. Of course, now we have way more black powder than we can deal with. Oh, I don't want to leave that like that. Let's build a little... Uh, And we could leave some useful stuff here, like a couple of batteries and this four rods casing concrete. What else do we want to get rid of here? I have my world does have crates in it. I try to keep the crate levels down and then we'll rename this to black outer passive ship So now that, whoa, that black powder is ready to ship now. Oh, we lost momentum. Probably should go under. Under. That's a little bit of logistics for you if you're going to use drones a lot. Obviously, you're limited to whatever belt speed that you're pushing into that drone port. But at least when you're doing passive shipping, the drones will leave at some point as long as you're producing a reasonable amount of material. If you reverse it, it's possible that the drone will never leave. And then you got, ah, oh. then you get a backup situation. So that's normally what happens when I cut. Just running around, jumping on belts. Of course, I don't normally talk to myself, though not can't say that's always not true. Sometimes I do. All right. So this is already set up. It's ready to go. This guy is saying, I want to pull black powder from my passive shipper. The passive shipper is saying, I have nothing to do. So black powder is due to fall from the sky into here. All right. Checking the recipe for a smoke list. Black powder and heavy oil residue. And obviously that heavy oil residue is why we're over here. I'll just build this on the, the top side. Wonder, could we skip over like this? One, just turn it like this on one. In my pipe toolbar. Where's my pipes? Uh, 
little outcropping for a little bit of storage. Move this pipe pump back here. We take this one out. Then we can put in a splitter. Sorry, a joiner. Then we'll join here. Not there. We'll join up there. Once we start to get resources into the weapons side of the factory, it's just... Just for that purpose, right? Oh, I don't have the pipeline wall hole in here. Uh, that was a nice air ball. Filling up somehow more than six hundred, but we won't we won't look too hard at that. All right, so we have our heavy oil residue. We've got our black powder. I'm thinking a nice little kind of a refinery pad that goes out like this. Let's see. I was looking at six of these. We're running low on copper sheets. Didn't really plan for anything above and beyond the actual building. That's something else you got to think about when you're doing your build plans. If the building calls for copper sheets, you got to make sure that you're bringing copper sheets. The building is using copper sheets. Chances are you're going to use copper sheets. Off of that. I think I probably have some copper sheets in the massive. There we go. Let's get another stack of copper sheets. A full stack. My inventory is a total mess. One of the first things I need to do. bid. Let's make sure that we're leaving this open. Okay, we are. I need to get rid of this black powder. All right, so a nice little, you no, know, nothing too big. Six refinery deal here. I'm ring right out of this door. Maybe right on this marker. There.
Move the door over one. And let's put the... Wall hole. Want it there? We want it. Actually, we probably want it in front of levels of this. That one level's more than enough. Let's connect one of these just to make sure it's going to work. Actually, that came out pretty nice. And over here, we'll just go for smoke lift. Copy and paste six times. Five times, technically. Accidentally eight. You can skip that step. Then once we get to this part of the deal, where are lift? Now the question becomes how exactly do we want to deliver this? A wall with a hole in it.
that looks like that will work. And what we'll do... going to be kind of aggressive no matter what we do. Pull it down like that. And go around. Try to go cleanly around this pole. should take this out. Let's go one more try at this. And we want to go here. Probably not a good way to do this. It's going to be a little wiggly no matter what. And then, let's see, we want to come into this side over here. Let's break this down. Kind of do a false 90. There we go. And I did a double in here on purpose. One more double. Wow, that's a really good shot. Might not be the thumbnail, but it's definitely in contention. the power pole right down in the middle of that particular
everybody all nice and powered up. I think... Oh, we missed one. We might have what we need to make this a super power pole. Right over there is our weapons factory, so we can belt in. Smokeless. Boy, if I have just enough room for one of the What arrow, what ley line am I getting? I'm just gonna redo all of the. I don't like the likelihood that these are lined up correctly. Except that one. That one looked okay. Alright, there we go. Oakless powder. Done and built. We've also created a nice little drone platform here to go with it. We're going to use our first side door. Just to escape that little bit of desert doom. As we go, we can determine if we need more drones. We have at least room for one more over here, so we could bring in one more, you know, ingredient. And then if we really want to get crazy, we can expand it. expanded out this way it would allow us for da, 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 da. four or five more four or six more ingredients depending on how much how far down the weapons tree we want to go now see this drone is just, it's done. It's waiting patiently. It has batteries, 1,600 of them, that it can unload. And there's a bunch of batteries already in here. 
right? So the good news is this drone is not blocking our battery factory. This one's going to be running back and forth for a while because we've got lots of storage in its line. If we really wanted to, we could take this out. Put one of these. That would give us a battery storage local to this, this craziness that I'm about to put in place. But now this guy should be able to jump back out and... It's taking a while for it to unload. Let's manually unload it. There we go. No, I just had a weird thought. Yeah, we're eating into our batteries. So it's time to expand our power supply soon. I guess we've got 30 hours before we crash and burn this thing. But nothing else. We do have access to our smokeless powder now. And smokeless powder is a key component to a lot of different weapons. I would like to get to rifle ammo. But we need to bring in some copper sheet get to rifle ammo. That's one. Then if we want to upgrade rifle ammo to something more aggressive, we could bring in high-speed connectors or turbo fuel. I think we'll go with the high-speed connectors. We already have Oh, wow, it's being blocked by our cube over here. But, oh wait, you can see it right there. That's where our trains run to. We're building a lot of computer components in there. We could extend our high-speed connector construction. And then ship some high-speed connectors over here. And then combine rifle ammo and high-speed connectors to make homing rifle ammo. And then we'll use homing rifle ammo as our basic... as our basic rifle ammo. So that's at least two things that we want to move in. Copper sheets and high-speed connectors. It would almost be kind of cool to have another train, but I'm not dealing with more train stuff. Maybe I will. We'll see. And then, all right. So yeah, I think we're all set. We're making smokeless. Every time I say smokeless powder, I have to pause because I think smokeless tobacco. Sorry about that. Smokeless powder. And oh yeah, we've got this in our... Drop that off right there. Uh, lots of room in our inventory all of a sudden. So we're going to take a little detour here and make a bunch of weapons. I don't know about you, but through my playthroughs, I don't make enough weapons. We already have our ice weapon capacity over here. We're going to extend that to have some rifle ammo and some homing rifle ammo. But that 
Well, that's definitely a project for our next video. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.